Hello dear friend, you and Humphreys here share with you just a word. <coughs> you had about a five, ten, five or ten minute message. I'm speaking to you on the fact that there is a name <coughs> above every name. There is one name above every other name, whatever name you may name. I was found it over in Psalms in the ninth chapter, verse nine and ten. We read these few words and I'll bring about a short message that I believe will bless your heart. Bible says the Lord, the Lord, <coughs> they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, O Lord, for you have not forsaken them that seek you. Oh, praise God, they that know your name, O Lord, will put their trust in you, for thou will never forsake them that trust in you. And so we see the importance of, of, of knowing the name of the Lord. The name above every name is the Lord Jesus Christ. That name is above every name. Over in the book of Philippians, in the second chapter, it says, Wherefore God has exalted Christ and given him a name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow one day of things in heaven and things in earth <coughs> and things under the earth. And every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He's given him a name above every name, a name that every name that is named in this world. So we see the importance of the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you believe in him as your Lord. And if you believe in him as your Lord, you're saved forever and you're bound for heaven. And you'll never worry about the darkness of hell because you're going to heaven. Jesus paid for your sins on the cross at Calvary. He rose again from the grave. And he's coming back. I want you to believe in him now as your Lord and Savior. Many of you do. They're listening. Praise God. The Lord loves you and he's with you and you'll never be alone. I want you to know that God's name is above every name. And in your heart and your life. It says in Mark 16, chapter, verse uh, 16, And these signs shall follow them, that in my name they shall cast out devils, speak with new tongues. They shall, they shall cast out devils in my name. I always, just about every day I get up out of bed, I, st I speak to the devil. I say, Satan, you evil spirit, and all you evil devils, I cast you out of my life and out of the life of my family and of my friends and of those all over the world, the family of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy One of God, go to His feet, wait for His command. Praise God. In my name you cast out devils. In my name it's important that we know the name of the Lord Jesus. Over in John the 14th chapter, we read these words. Jesus says, Whatsoever you ask in my name, whatever you ask in my name, uh, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And so, here's the promise of God. Whatever you ask in His name, He's going to do it. Now when we pray in the name of Jesus, we ought to pray with this thought, Does this please God? Does this please God? Am I asking for something that pleases Him? Or am I asking for something that don't even please Him? If it doesn't please Him, we cannot expect an answer. But if it pleases God, whatever you ask in His name, He's going to do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we need to recognize that, that He said over in Philippians, and I have given Him a name above every name, the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Believe in that name, and you will live forever. Believe in that name because through that name you will know the power that God gives. You can pray and believe and know that as you pray that God hears and answers prayer because of the name of Jesus. I pray this in the name of Jesus. I pray it for the glory of God. I pray it, Lord, that, that Christ might be lifted up in it, but I pray it for the wonderful glory of God, and I'm asking you to do this for me in Jesus' name. I'm asking him to bless you today, you that are listening to this, this message. That God would bless you right now for his glory. That he would bless you right now and your needs, that he would supply for his glory. 
and that he will lift the burden and he will bless the life. He will give you what you need in this hour and in the hours to come. Oh, praise God. I pray in his name the blessing of God upon these messages going out all over the world. That they go out in the name of the Lord I love and serve and bring people to Christ. Now, there's another name. There's another scripture over in the book of, uh, of John. In the third chapter of John, we read some, uh, a wonderful verse. And, uh, and that's an important verse. And that is that he that believeth on the Son of God is, is, is not condemned. But he that believeth not on the Son of God is condemned already. Why? Because he has not believed in the name of the Son of God. So you see, you're saved by believing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, praise the Lord. Now, I want you to be sure, as you can, that you're saved by the grace of God. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me, if you need to, and pray this prayer like this. Just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe that he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Praise God. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Pray that kind of prayer and, and God will bless you. He'll write your name in heaven. You'll be among God's people. You'll need to find you a good church if you really want to please God and, and live the life that will exalt Him and worship Him with His people. But above all, believe in that precious name of Jesus. Carry it with you night and day. Let it be offered upon your lips. Oh, praise God. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music to my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because He first loved me. Amen. There is a name I love to hear. Oh, the name of Jesus. God bless you, dear friend, that you believe in Him, you're going to make it all the way. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in that name. He loves you so much. He'll never leave you. He's with you always. Believe it. Trust Him. Lean upon Him. And stand upon His promise. And know that all is well. Because that name is above every name. Put that name above every name. Oh, put that name above the name of your wife or your husband. Put it above your children's name. Put it above your friends. Put it above everything. Put it above your own name. Above every name. And he'll be your Lord and your God and he'll guide you. And everyone that you love will be even lovelier. And you'll find a way. And you'll know the truth. And the Lord will set you free. God bless you. God loves you. I love you. And may the hand of the Lord direct you in Jesus' name. Amen.